Hey what's up guys, for this tutorial I'll be showing how I created my 3D photo effect. I'm going to use this group photo I took from my last music video. We're going to open up Photoshop and drag the wanted image into the program. Alright, just going to make this image a, a bit bigger. So near the top left corner of the screen is your quick selection tool. Go ahead and click on that. Underneath the image tab, you'll see a brush with a plus sign. Make sure to click on that so you can start selecting parts of the image you want to use. So the goal is to make Akili, the person holding the camera, look like he's popping out the image and slowly coming back into the photo. While making the rest of the group look floaty, so basically achieving a 3D looking effect. So try your best to select the part of the image you want to pop out in the video. You can always select the brush with a minus sign to deselect any areas of the photo you accidentally selected. Going to fast forward this part real quick. Once you have the part of the image you want, go ahead and right click the mouse. You can feather to any amount you want to make the edges look more smooth. Right click again to create a copy of the selected part of the image. I will be using a newly created layer as shown here. Deselect the background to showcase the new layer you selected. I'm going to go ahead and save this image as a PNG. Do not save as a JPEG or it won't look transparent. You'll just have a white background instead and you do not want that. Go ahead and open up Sony Vegas Pro. Create two video layers and drag the PNG you just saved and put it on the first layer. Next, I'm going to get the original photo and drag that onto the second layer in the timeline right underneath the PNG photo. Just going to stretch this image to play for about 7 seconds. Right click your bottom layer and choose video event pan crop. Make sure the lock aspect ratio is not selected and have your size about center selected. So the important thing I'm doing here is that I'm zooming in the photo at the first key frame. And I'm also giving a cinema look for effect while making sure Akili is in the center of the frame. So for our first layer, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. Make sure the right settings are clicked first, then you can go start to zoom in on the photo. I will make Akili look a whole lot bigger than he actually was compared to the original picture. Now I'm going to restore the photo back to its original state a little past the 5 second mark. For the second layer, I will move it back closer to its original state a couple milliseconds before the first layer does. Little details such as making the first layer fit as close as it can get to the original images layer is key and also with timing. Just gonna fix up some minor mistakes here. And there you go, a basic 3D effect using a single photograph. Thanks for watching and make sure to watch my other videos and leave a like and comment down below.